Looking at this triangle, I see that I have side, angle, side. This one does not have an angle side opposite pair, and even though I have an angle, I can't get at the other two angles right away, so I can't use law of sines. So I'm going to use law of cosines, and so when I set this one up, I'm going to be going for, for trying to find this side right here because I do have the angle opposite that. So the law of cosines, let's remember what it is. It's b squared, or one of the sides squared, equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus 2 times the product of those two sides times the cosine of the angle between those two sides. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'll have b squared equals... 13 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 13 times 20 times the cosine of the angle between those two sides, which is 22 degrees. Okay, so now it's just a matter of grab the calculator and compute this. So I'm going to put in the square root of all of that stuff. So I got the square root of 13 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 13 times 20 times cosine of 22 and it looks like that gives me rounded to two decimal places 9.32 so that's our side B. I can see if this is drawn to scale and they aren't always drawn to scale so I don't know but it looks like that one's going to be obtuse and that's certainly the larger side so I'm actually going to go to try and find this angle right here alpha and I'm going to use the law of sines with the angle side opposite pair that I just found that side of B so I'm going to use sine 22 over 9.32 and that's going to equal sine of alpha and that's going to be over 13. So I could put the 13 over here and grab my calculator and do inverse sine of 13 sine 22 divided by 9.32. And it looks like alpha is going to be 31.5 degrees. That's rounded to one decimal place. And then I can easily find out the other missing angle gamma because they have to add up to 180. So taking the two angles that I know, 31.5 and 22, subtracting them from 180, it looks like I get 126.5 for my last angle.